26th of October. You guys, today I really needed to reset my mind and reset my body and just get everything in order mentally. This was a really emotional day for me, not for any specific reason, just a plethora of things. So today I decided to do everything that I wanted to do that made me happy. So I took a shower and then I cooked my favorite dinner, which is spaghetti. Now I must say that when it comes down to being a mom, honestly, I never really have a day off unless I'm on vacation. So I would have loved to be able to order out, but of course I still had to cook for the kids and myself. So I just made spaghetti, which is my favorite meal. They like it. And I feel like as a mom, it's important to find ways of where you can still have an identity of your own while being a mother. Of course, you can't, you know, live the life of someone that does not have kids because it's just not realistic. But I feel like it's important to still have an identity, still do what you like and still be able to relax your mind because it's so easy for us to fall victim to not being mentally stable especially as a mom I feel like it's one of the hardest jobs ever I feel like it does not give enough credit at times and it's just looked at as oh it's easy well they're your kids so why don't you just take care of them and yeah I mean we're gonna take care of our kids but that doesn't mean that we don't have days where we need a break or that we're just mentally not there or that we don't want to be bothered and the this was one of those days I did not want to be bothered but being that I'm still a mom as I've said a hundred times I didn't have that choice so I just said what will make me happy today what can I do that will just make me feel like I'm just doing what Yvette wants to do and that consists of just taking a shower taking a bath and making my favorite meal which is spaghetti towards the end of this video i shared some deep thoughts with you guys honestly sometimes i don't even know how i feel i don't even know how to express it and i feel like sometimes i try not to express it too much because you know i don't want people to think that oh she's just a walking emotional crybaby because that's not it it's just you know sometimes you're just going through it and you don't know how to express it because somebody else may not know or understand exactly how you feel and sometimes I have those days like today where I just cry and I just need to let it out and once I let it out I feel so much better because when I'm keeping it in and trying to just hold myself together I just feel like my whole world is crashing down inside and and even though you know me cooking spaghetti and drinking wine is not beneficial to my health as far as the goals that I have health wise today I just I just had to do it like I it's something that makes me happy and I feel like it's okay to do it in moderation which is something that I'm learning um but I have not been eating unhealthy in moderation I've been eating more so unhealthy than eating healthy which is not a good thing so I said that today is going to be the last day of where I don't put my health first of where I keep slowing down my progress when it comes to my health and where I just don't check in with myself mentally and internally. And I feel like that's so, I feel like that's so important because I have a hard time, which I'm sure somebody else experiences this also, but you have so much going on externally, like in your household or just in your everyday life, whether it's from working, trying to you know go to the gym work out be a mom you know whatever it is but you're not getting your internal health right and that is something that I really struggle with balancing because I it's either I'm really focused internally on my mental health and my external <laughs> is getting you know is getting lack 
or I'm really going hard externally and my internal is not getting the attention that it needs. So nowadays I'm really trying to work on balance and just knowing that you have to worry about both. It's not one or the other. Towards the end of the video, I actually show you guys my exact journal entry for today. Um, I wanted to be more transparent because I feel like it can help somebody. Anytime I'm going through something, I try to be as transparent as possible because I feel like it can help someone because sometimes you feel like you're the only one feeling the way that you feel and you're the only one going through what you're going through. And knowing that you're not alone honestly helps. And I know that kind of sounds like misery loves company, but no, sometimes you just need to know I'm not crazy. Like I'm feeling like this for a reason. I'm not the only one that is feeling like this. Somebody out there understands so I just wanted to share with you all exactly where what I'm going through mentally and how I feel on a daily basis. And yeah. <laughs> finally made my Amazon fresh delivery or my Amazon fresh order. I've been telling you guys every day that I needed to order my Amazon fresh, but I told myself that going forward, I am eating healthy majority of the time, meaning I'm eating healthy over eating unhealthy. I'm eating more healthy than I'm eating unhealthy because I need that not more so a balance. I do need the scale to tip towards the opposite way so i'm gonna go ahead and read you guys my journal entry for today and i hope it helps someone this is my exact words that i wrote and it just it, it describes exactly how i'm feeling at the moment dear highest self i've almost been subconsciously avoiding to journal because i didn't want to sit with myself Lately, I've just been in this weird space mentally and emotionally as if every day I'm being pushed to be better, to do better, but I'm constantly avoiding it. It's so much that I want to do in life, so much I want to be in life, but the only person holding me back is me. It's almost as if I can see it, I can feel it, but because I'm not touching it, doubt creeps in. We are limitless beings. Any limit put on us are limits we put on ourselves. I had to stop playing victim. Nobody is stopping me but me. I am so worried about the things I can't control. But what about what you can control, Yvette? Figure out what needs to be done and do it. Thank you, God. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for constantly protecting me, for constantly showing me that you got me. Thank you for my gifts. Thank you for giving me everything I need and want out of life. Thank you in advance. God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I can be, do, and have anything I want out of life. Yvette, you have to truly believe that and know that. Go get everything you want. The time is now. Sign, a determined black woman. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you.